If you've worked in an automotive or diesel truck shop and you've wondered why you've been short of breath or been having uh, coughing or wheezing issues, this video might... Hey viewers, Lance Mechanics here, a uh, former automotive technician, now a heavy duty underground mechanic. I've spent years breathing in solvents, exhaust fumes, and exposing my body to who knows what, and I probably will pay for it in a future date. But that's not the point of the video right now. The point of the video here is death by a thousand cuts. A lot, of, a lot of us automotive technicians are exposed to fumes daily and that's a huge issue. So us mechanics, we know about this, but we really don't talk about it. I've experienced it. When I left the automotive industry, my breathing improved. Like it was night and day difference. And a lot of you in the comments have asked for this video because we don't talk about it. Uh, exhaust exposure in a shop is guaranteed to happen. And a lot of the facilities just aren't equipped to handle it. And it's unreal. A lot of places are grandfathered in. That's why I need to talk about this topic. So first off, disclaimer, I'm obviously not a doctor. Uh, if you're having problems, you should go see a doctor. This is more for education and awareness. So yeah, let's get it. So when people think exhaust fumes, they think carbon monoxide. And yes, that is a big part of it, but there's more to it. So in a shop, especially during winter months, diagnostics, uh, cold starts, you're breathing in a lot of stuff from carbon monoxide, nitrogens of carbon, and VOCs, which are pieces of organic matter, it all adds up very, very quickly. And in a biggest shop environment, you're not the only one working. You're dealing with anywhere from, let's say if you're a small garage, one or two technicians to a dealership, which can be 12 to 20, and in some cases, 30 plus guys, which is wild. Some of this stuff you can smell, some of it you can't. And the ones that you can't are often the most dangerous. So carbon monoxide is often the, the most talked about one because in large amounts, it can kill you pretty quickly. But in small amounts and long-term exposure, it's very dangerous too. And that's where people tend to forget things. As I said, death by a thousand cuts. You don't feel it. Well, it's still a little painful, but it gets you over time. And CO binds to your blood better than oxygen does. So that means over time, as it gets into your bloodstream, you get less and less oxygen and you slowly feel fatigued. When I was full, full going, full rate in the automotive industry, I always went home extremely tired. I thought it was fatigue. Now I know better. It was exposure to CO2 in the shop because of poor ventilation, people firing up cars in and out, in and out, in and out all day. And a lot of you technicians are probably gonna be like, holy crap, I did feel tired. I did feel fatigued over time. It's something that we put out of our mind because we generally become numb over time to sensitivity in a shop. It sounds really wild, but we put it out of our head. We're just like thinking, oh, we're getting older or maybe I'm not working hard enough or maybe it's just the way things are and you just got to get used to it. No. So this is going to be more for the semi-truck guys, diesel mechanics as you call them, uh, particulate matter. That's generated by diesel engines. Yes, Volkswagen, yes, BMW, yes, Mercedes, you all have that. So yes, some automotive guys are gonna be exposed to it. But what's more crazy about this is it bypasses your filters in your nose and it ends up in your lungs and it could potentially cause inflammation and it also can end up in your bloodstream, which is why where I am in the mines, particulate matter is very well, like not well looked after, but very monitored because they know how dangerous it is because we're in tight quarters. So long-term exposure has been uh, associated with cough, reduced lung capacity, COPD-like uh, system symptoms, lung damage, and bronchitis-like systems. Sorry for butchering all that. Again, I'm a mechanic, not a doctor, but this whole video is for awareness. And I'll keep reiterating, this is slow over time damage. Uh, it's like putting a, a frog in a hot, or sorry, you put a frog in a hot boiling water, it's gonna jump out. But if you put them in cold water and you slowly increase the temperature, it will slowly burn to death in there, boil to death, as you say. So again, you don't notice it over time. And by the time you do notice it, it might be too late. So the number one thing to do is prevent it. And now for a word from our sponsors. Just kidding, I don't do that bullshit. Uh, at this point in the video, most people would be putting an ad in here or some bullshit sponsor. These topics are way too important for me. You will not get that bullshit here on this channel. I have separate videos for that. So I'm just reiterating here. I will not be putting sponsors or ads in important topics. Uh, I'm not a sellout like that, like a lot of YouTubers. Anyway, so here's something that I actually learned today when digging into this. Exposure isn't just a lung issue. So these particles get in your bloodstream, increase inflation, which also increases blood pressure and increases your risk of heart disease and related effects like uh, stroke over time. When mechanics talk about getting winded, chest fit, or chest pains or fatigue, it's not just because of the lungs. Uh, this is all related at the end of the So one of the big things is uh, 
A lot of mechanics, we don't feel this till it's too late. Uh, we don't connect the dots in time. And that's why we got to rely on the generation before us or the older mechanics, the senior mechanics. As I've seen in my videos, they're always posting what they've experienced and what they've seen. And you have to protect yourself now and they always, always regret not doing it sooner. And that's why I'm making this video right now because I do rely on them a lot. Uh, it's unfortunate. I don't like hearing about mechanics going through this stuff. I don't like hearing anybody suffering. Uh, it's not human nature to like, you don't want to hear it. It's tough, but we got to talk about it. It's one of those things we never talk about it. And generally this channel is to bring exposure to this stuff. So I'm hoping that the younger people who want to be mechanics, you take a hard look. Uh, if you're applying to a job somewhere and you go to the shop and they're not wearing PPE, gloves, eye protection, hearing protection, uh, the floor is covered in five inches of crap, run. Uh, you are your number one protector. You got to vet these places, these dealerships, do it. Save yourself in the long run. And if you just want to avoid it altogether, don't get into automotive. So again, I don't want to say this is a fear video. This is an awareness video. You see somebody idling a car, turn it off. You see an exhaust pipe fall off, run over, put it on right away. Uh, you feel like the ventilation isn't keeping up to more than two or three vehicles. Let your management know. Do the proper process. Make sure everything's in place because again, it's only you at the end of the day. You got to look out for yourself. If your coworkers aren't on board, you got to do something about that. Educate them, talk to them before you get upset and do the wrong thing. Uh, everybody needs to be a team player in a shop environment. That includes truck and coach, heavy equipment, all these industries. Because uh, the truth is, you spend more time with your coworkers than your family. So get along, make friends, work it out. So we talk about flat rate, tools, all this other stuff. Uh, health at the end of the day, you can't sell it. You can't get a return on it. Once you lose it, it's very hard to get it back. So that's why we're doing these videos. Uh, and again, I rely on the comments. I don't do ads. If you have a similar experience, post in the comments. Again, uh, I've seen it in my other videos. You guys ask for topics like this and I'm not gonna just release them. So this is just one video to get out there. I'll refine them as time goes on. That's what I do here. Uh, things will get better. The channel's getting bigger. So again, I'm just doing this by myself. So it takes some time. Um, anyways, Lance Mechanics, have a good one. Stay healthy.